the buildings I do are a strange concoction of biomimicry, uh, which is really copying the processes of nature. In, in Zimbabwe, under the ground, it's all termites, wherever you go. There are two types of termite mound, and they're actually lungs, they're breathing systems. When I built Eastgate, I was looking at the one on the right, in other words, the tower with, with the hole in the top. The lung idea, this sealed mound, um, it turns out works exactly like our lungs. The only thing is that instead of muscles pushing the lung in and out, it's actually the air, the, it's turbulent air that moves around the, the cone. So the first thing I do is to study the microclimate of the site, what, what goes on uh, in the summer, in the winter, in each season. So what's happening? What is, what is the, 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 the template to which they're building? What is the blueprint? It's actually the wind. It's air movement and the sun. And so this is how this form develops. So it's, in other words, it's not form follows function, it's form follows process. So Eastgate was really based on my primitive, rather uh, simplistic idea of how termite mound worked. It was about through draft. Um, it, it was about how um, using night air as the cooling system, uh, because we have a 10 degree variation in, in, in a diurnal variation, um, seemed to work very well. And we just have two fan speeds. We push air through the building at, at, at a much faster rate. That cools down the structure. And we use the structures as, as a thermal sink. I, I do it not only with termites, but with other processes in nature, like the behavior of um, a tree. Now, how do you make a building like a tree? What, what is a tree that, that makes a building? Well, a tree grows in a, in a structural form, in a spiral form, particularly a conifer. A tree is a bridge between the water table and the sky, and it has a water cycle, it has an energy cycle, it has a mineral cycle, and it has the whole caboodle of, of life. So those are the four drivers of an ecosystem. So we're, we're, we're worrying about water a lot, much more than we used to particularly in Neisner. This, this is a building to go in, in Neisner in the industrial park. And it's a tree, it's called tree. And it catches the water and it spins it into a vortex. So it falls down in the middle of the building. So when it rains, it's, it's something you celebrate. And it has a spiral. And this is the DNA story. And it has a solar generator, which will probably be um, something that picks up sunlight and turns it into electricity. I, I then worry a lot about the culture. I am trying to understand the way people, the, what people think of as normal. What is the normal, the norm? Where are the norms? The social norms. That's the social environment. So you have the natural environment, the social environment, and then of course the economic, the resources available. I, I need to know how they build, how uh, what they've got in the way of resources. So the building then becomes unique to that place. And Wang Shu, of, uh, as a Chinese developer, was very taken with Eastgate and um, thought that I should help him uh, design buildings in China. So I was invited there. And they, the first thing they wanted me to do was to deal with the fact that China has a million discarded containers every year from shipping. So they're the containers. On the roof of the building we have solar hot water collectors and we turn the hot water into cold water with, a, with an absorption chiller. So the cooling, I mean this is an, a really nasty climate, this is not like Melbourne, not like Cape Town, this is Hong Kong. Uh, high humidity, high temperature. So you've got to seal the building and cool it by air conditioning of some sort. So we're using solar energy to cool it by turning hot water into cold water with an absorption chiller and circulating the cold water in a sealed building to prevent internal condensation. People build their own cities and 
uh, there's a good chance that Africa will develop very quickly. It, it looks chaotic and, and difficult and there's a great deal of poverty, but, but the potential for Africa is huge.